and brought the picture in under the two million, in fact about 25,000 under. Because uh, I was very careful, because I knew they really didn't have the money. They'd sold off the back lot and had to move the offices. There were a lot of problems at Paramount at the time. And uh, so I, we came in 25,000 under. Now my editor and I are working, putting it together. And we suddenly realized it'd be nice we wish we had two more scenes, just little scenes of their relationship. Not not essential, but would enhance the uh, the character and the story. And I phoned Eric Siegel and told him our feelings, and he agreed. He said, and he said he could write a couple of simple scenes. And so I went to Paramount and said, I'd like to go back to Boston. I cut some corners and. And we, uh, they said, no, you'll spend too much. I said, I just brought the picture in 25,000 under. Well, make, anyway, we end up with 15,000 small crew and set it up and flew east, bumped into the worst snowstorm in 20 years. It's just unbelievable. And, and I had to stay up all night with the uh, weather people and make the decision in the early morning to phone the West Coast and either say put Allie and Ryan on the plane or don't. And uh, and we did. And uh, by, and the crew drove up from New York and a, you know, a couple of station wagons and the executive producer, David Golden. And uh, I spent the day while they were doing scouting for locations for the scenes like well, Eric had written one as a picnic at the Charles River. Well, you know, you get three feet of snow and it's snowing. You're not going to have much of a picnic. But it worked out. It helped because I found these little bleachers and thought, oh, we'll clean them off and let them sit in their parkas having lunch. And it was a different kind of scene. Anyway, out of all that, we did some things because it was snowing terribly the next day and then we ran out of things to do and I felt I, w I was very upset I felt guilty because I'd made the decision to go ahead and both the producers said Arthur it's okay it happens we'll call it a day and hope for better weather tomorrow and I said no no I, I said take the actors to lunch and I'll go to Harvard and I'll think of something and uh, told them where to meet me. And when they came, I said to Howard Minsky, Howard, I need the football stadium open and I need a football. And he looked at me and said, Arthur, there's three feet of snow on the ground, it's snowing, and you want a football and a football stadium open? I said, yes. And he, but he got it, he got it. And all that playing in the snow is ad-libbed. It just was all in my mind, like, like I had Ryan throw her at the football and then tackle her and, and they roll on the ground. And all this with Lou Barley with a handheld camera beside me listening to me and watching and, and doing. And then I had to make Snow Castle and Ryan used that to, you know, to fall on her. They got into it and like when he tackled her, Allie licked some snow off his cheek and then had them playing in the snow. <laughs> I'm just remembering the uh, producer on a talk show after saying, I'm standing there and suddenly I hear the director screaming at them, make angels, make angels. And he said, and I thought, what the hell is make angels? But they knew what I meant and with the legs and the arms. And all that was just ad-libbed out of necessity and uh, you and the film wouldn't be the same without it.